We're going to do an example and make our own probability distribution or table from scratch. A supplier of aircraft parts has 12 altimeters that are correctly calibrated and two that are not. Three altimeters are randomly selected without replacement. Without replacement. Let X represent the number that aren't correctly calibrated. Create a probability distribution table. So just from reading this question, I was able to pick up on a few things. And the first thing is that if I have 12 altimeters that are correctly calibrated and two that are not, means I have 14 altimeters total. So that's how many we had to pick from in our first trial, 14. <laughs> Next, I am selecting three without replacement, which means that as I go to collect my three and select them, I will have one less every single time. So these trials are dependent on each other. <laughs> well, first and foremost, if you are considering altimeters that aren't correctly calibrated and you have two that are not, it is impossible for you to get three altimeters that aren't correctly calibrated. So the probability that three altimeters are not correctly calibrated would be zero. It's not possible. There's only two altimeters that are not correctly calibrated. Next, the probability you get zero altimeters that are not correctly calibrated. So for probability that x equals zero, so we get zero altimeters not correctly calibrated, would be the probability that you would get an altimeter that's calculated in the first trial, probability you get an altimeter in the second trial that's correctly calibrated, and also the probability you get a correctly calibrated altimeter in the third trial. So in the first trial, the, out of 14 altimeters, how many would be correctly calibrated? What are the favorable outcomes? There would be 12. Second trial, since you've already picked one that was correctly calibrated in the first trial, you now have 13 altimeters to pick from, and there are 11 that are correctly calibrated. Third trial, you now only have 12 altimeters to correctly that are correctly calibrated, and you actually only have 10 that are correctly calibrated. That's 12 altimeters total. 10 of them are correctly calibrated. So multiply 12 times 11 times 10, 14 times 13 times 12, and I believe you'll get 1,320 over 2,184. You can write this as a decimal to Four decimal places, you get 0 0.6044. So the probability you get zero altimeters not correctly calibrated is 0 0.6044. All right, let's do the probability you get one one altimeter correctly calibrated, not correctly calibrated. <clears throat> so that means you want one altimeter that's not calibrated, not correctly calibrated. Then the other two trials, you do want the altimeters correctly calibrated. So we have 14 altimeters total. How many are not calibrated? That would be two. All right, now let's do the probability that in our second trial that we get an altimeter that is correctly calibrated. Out of 13 altimeters, there would be 12. All 12 are still correctly calibrated because in my first trial, I pulled out one that was not correctly calibrated. Third trial, out of my 12 total left, 11 are correctly calibrated. So two times 12 times 11, 14 times 13 times 12. Excuse me, 264 out of 2184. This is not the answer though, because 
How many ways are there for you to get one altimeter not correctly calibrated in three trials? Well, the first one drawn could be not calibrated. The rest could be calibrated. The second one drawn could be not correctly calibrated. Or even the third one drawn could be not calibrated. So there's three different ways total. So take this probability 264 out of 2,184 and multiply it by three. So multiply it by three. When you do that, you will get 0.3626. I'm rounding everything to four decimal places where applicable. So we got 0.3626. Next, let's find the probability we get two altimeters that are not correctly calibrated or just not calibrated at all. <clears throat> so probability that the altimeter on the first trial is not calibrated. Probability that the altimeter we pick on the second trial is not calibrated. And then on the third trial, probability that the altimeter we pick is calibrated. So first trial, out of my 14 altimeters, how many are not calibrated? That would be two. Second trial, out of the 13 remaining altimeters, how many are not calibrated? That would be one, because I picked one out in the first trial. And then third trial, out of 12 altimeters, how many are calibrated? All 12 are still in the mix. So this is going to give me two times one times 12, which is 24, and then 14 times 13 times 12 which is 2,184. This is just one of a few ways that you can get two altimeters that are not calibrated. So you could get two altimeters right off the bat that are not calibrated and the third one's calibrated. Your not calibrated altimeters might be the first or the third pool, or they might even be the last pool, the last two pooled. So there's three different ways you could obtain two altimeters that are not calibrated. So take your answer, three times 24 over 2,184. Multiply together. The answer that you get is actually 0 0.033. And if it makes you feel better, you can add the zero at the end so everything's the four decimal places. So we just created a probability distribution. Let's now find the expected value or the mean of a probability distribution. You could use technology, but rather than having to pull up the technology that we could use or pulling out my calculator, I can actually find the expected value or the mean just by looking at my table. Because of the formula for expected value or mean of a probability distribution, I literally just multiply each possible value by its probability. So multiply across the rows of your probability distribution. I got 0, 1 times 0 0.3626 is 0 0.3626, or 2 times 0 0.033 is going to be 0 0.066, <clears throat> 3 times 0 is 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add this last column. All of my products from multiplying the rows together, I'm going to add these results. So my expected value, represented by the notation given here, or my mean, they mean the same thing, would be 0 plus 0.3626 plus 0 0.066 plus 0, which gives me an expected value of 0 0.4286. Make sure you round to the appropriate number of decimal places based on what the question states. So once again, the expected value or mean is 0 0.4286.